Okay, and welcome back. Robert Felix joins us now. Robert's amazing ability to actually look at the record, the geologic record, and understand what the sun does affects the Earth's climate uh, profoundly. Uh, he was able, over a number of years, to put together the thesis, which has been rather obviously borne out, that there is no global warming, and he was one of the first people to make it quite clear through not only his own work and books, but... Uh, the research of others that we are approaching a mini ice age. And his book, what was the name of it, Robert? Fire and Ice? Not by fire, but by ice. That's right. And <laughs> welcome back, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to be on with you. Yes, it's, I've been hammering on this since, uh, well, 1997. That's when I started the website, yeah. so, uh, yeah. iceagenow.info. So. I, yeah, it's beginning to look that way. Uh, you, well, you mentioned the mini ice age, and uh, and and just here today they've come out with a paper and yesterday that, that Britain is set to suffer a mini ice age, or that's what they're they're looking at at least. Well, I sent you uh, that story. I think uh, you did. Maybe I didn't, but uh, no, absolutely. Did. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is uh, this is very interesting because England seems to be the most blatant and obvious example of what severe and extreme climate change uh, can do to a country that you know relies on a relatively mild winter. They got pounded last winter, and from what the forecasters, the long-range projections of the good forecasters are saying, this winter is going to be much worse. They are. They're, they're saying, and, and they're saying it could begin within weeks. Correct. And, uh, and and what they're looking at is is uh, is they're talking about it would it would could match up with the little ice age that they had 300 years ago during the Maunder minimum, and it's it's interesting. I I posted another article about this that um, the the person writing about it said that it was that that period 300 years ago was quaintly called a little ice age. And I don't know what's so quaint about that. I mean, if, unless you consider it quaint that, that millions of people actually died of starvation. It, it's a, pretty quaint. Uh, what's the matter with you, Robert? That's very quaint. Yeah, very quaint. Yeah. Jeez. No, it was, uh, that was a really bad time then. And, and of course, I have been, uh, I've been on record as saying this was on its way. And you so, bet. Um, yeah. Here's, here, here's the story from one of the U.K. papers, The Express. Let me just read a little bit of it. Britain is set to suffer a mini ice age that could last for decades and bring with it a series of bitterly cold winters. And it could begin within weeks, the experts said last night, and the mercury may soon plunge below the record of minus 20 Celsius. Uh, let's see, there's 20 Celsius. I can't, I never can figure that out. Anyway, that's cold. Uh, that happened last year. Scientists say the anticipated cold blast will be due to the return of a disruptive weather pattern called La Nina. Latest evidence shows La Nina linked to extreme winter weather in America and with a knock-on effect on Britain is in force and will gradually strengthen as the year ends. The climate phenomenon characterized by unusually cold ocean temperatures in the Pacific was linked to our icy winter last year, one of the coldest on record, and it coincides with research from the Metropolitan Meteorology Office indicating the nation could be facing a repeat of the little ice age that gripped the country 300 years ago, causing decades of harsh winters. What about that mini ice age just 300 years ago? It's not that long ago, 1700. No, that, that came about during what's known as the Maunder Minimum which was a period of about 80 years when there were no sunspots on the sun. Um, and, and, of course, there have been a lot of the global warming scientists who have been insisting that uh, sunspots have nothing to do with our climate because they want to be able to hammer on the global warming thing. And I don't know how they can possibly say that, that they have nothing to do with the climate. It shows up in the geologic record that... that uh, this Maunder Minimum, because it was named after a, a man by the name of Maunder who, who discovered it. He was watching sunspots on the sun and, and realized that there weren't any during those times and that the, that it got cold. And literally millions of people died of starvation. It, uh, 
I mean, so it's a big deal. Now, the other thing, though, you when you were reading that article, you mentioned La Nina, and you mentioned uh, uh, Great Britain. But, you know, there, it just came out in the paper, or, or uh, just came out today, not in the paper, but uh, but on the Internet, and, and that uh, it came from AccuWeather.com, that Vancouver, B.C. and Western Canada are facing a record cold winter. Record cold this winter. And, of course, that, uh, you know, if it's happening in Vancouver, B.C., I would say it's in Western Canada. I'd say that's probably also going to happen in Seattle and, and in in the United States, Pacific Northwest. Um, but they're talking about record cold. Vancouver will experience one of its coldest winters on record. And this came from a senior meteorologist at AccuWeather. And, and again, they're blaming La Nina, which is a phenomenon. That's that's when water temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific are, are below normal. And so this is... This is a natural cycle too. It's something that happens. But uh, uh, you put you put La Nina together with the lower sunspots because we are now we've been having the fewest sunspots in more than a hundred years. Which again, it makes a lot of scientists think that we're headed into uh, into another maunder minimum type thing. Right. And there you are. Well, it looks like it. Now, what does this mean? Let's talk about Britain first. What happened 300 years ago during the minimum? Okay, one thing I should say, during the, the big ice age of 11,500 years ago, mm-hmm. there were polar bears roaming the outskirts of, of London. Huh. But, but with that said, 300 years ago, it was nothing like that. It's not that, it's not that they got all that much snow. I, mean, I, know, I know they got more snow, but the other thing that happened, the, the biggest thing is that that uh, their rainy season lasted about five weeks longer in the spring, so so that farmers weren't able to, to plant their crops until five weeks later than normal. And then their rainy season started about five weeks earlier than normal, huh. which means the farmers were not able to harvest their crops. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so that's, that was, uh, that's what was going on. And well... The, but I mean, there there are there's a, a climatologist, H.H. Uh, H. Lamb from from the United Kingdom, who wrote about that little ice age. He, he wrote a couple of books about it, I think. But but he was talking about during that time that it was so bad that in some cases parents were eating their own children. I, it, 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 well, that's bad. Incredibly that's hard. bad. And people mm-hmm. did not want to get thrown in jail. Because they mm-hmm. they were taking a chance on becoming food, mm-hmm. so there there was some bad stuff going on. There.